Hi, my name is Jay Fetter, and I'm here with our 5760 final project where we built a ROS enabled stereo vision uh, accelerator. Our system is basically able to take in a uh, rectified image from another ROS node and then generate stereo images. So what you see there is an image publisher which is publishing camera images which our node, the stereo camera, is processing and outputting a stereo image. Um, so at a high level, let's look at what's happening. By stereo image, you mean a depth map? Correct. Yeah. Um, okay. So this is the input image that's going to the uh, FPGA, and it gets converted into a depth map that looks like this. Okay, so go back to the stereo image. All right, so now this is one of the frames of the stereo image, right? Yeah, on the so FPG, now on the FPGA. Right, so this is what the FPGA received. This is the right image. Uh, we, we're not displaying the left image at the moment. Uh, so the steps go like this. So obviously the FPGA receives the, uh, the two left and right images, and then it applies a Gaussian blur to uh, both images to help reduce the noise on the images. Okay. And then it applies what's called a census transform, uh, which uh, basically works by taking uh, each pixel and then comparing its neighboring pixels to uh, itself and uh, seeing whether the neighboring pixels are greater than or less than in intensity to uh, itself. And then once we do that, we can then compare the left and right images by um, comparing those uh, bit vectors that are outputted from the census transform. And uh, we, so our algorithm can do 64 disparity levels, uh, which uh, works by comparing, for each pixel, it compares uh, 64 pixels locally uh, in the other image. So let's uh, see that. So once it does that, this is what the output is. Where, 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 where white is nearer and dark is farther away. Correct. Right. <laughs> so as you can see, all the background is dark and the books that are in the front are lighter colored. Right, so if we switch to the original image, this is what the original image is. So we can see that there's some books in the foreground, uh, there are books in the foreground, and then there's some books in the background. The way I'm interpreting this is this is quite close, this edge is quite close, and the front of this is quite close, and this I can't tell. Right, so if we switch to the stereo map. Yeah, the pile again is quite close over here, right. and then the pages are close, and this apparently is fairly close also. Right. Okay. Cool. And so then this image, the, the, the depth map then gets exported back through the... Right, so this depth map um, is communicated back to the HPS side of the uh, FPGA, and the HPS acts as a Rosno which um, sends the image back through the network to the other Rosno running on this computer. So. Yeah, and then basically this image is being updated real time. So if you change like the... the yeah, so if we change any like thresholding yeah, values, it clearly changes on the, uh, mm -hmm. the other Rosno. And how fast is the, is the, uh, the um, depth extraction? So the FPG architecture can process up to 100 megapixels per second at uh, 100 megahertz, which basically correlates to one pixel per cycle. So you could do total VGA in real time or twice that actually. Right. But ultimately we're limited by the uh, bus bandwidth between the HPS and the FPGA and that's limited to about 200 megabytes per second uh, or um, about 25 megapixels per second uh, in our design. Okay. Thank you.